Good evening, everyone. I haven't seen y'all for a few days, and the reason being, my camera says I don't have enough storage. They're saying my internal storage. Uh, that I didn't, I couldn't make a video. Every time I tried to make one, they would say uh, out of storage, and you know. And then I went on uh, YouTube to try to. Uh, find out how this happened to me before but before I went ahead and I bought another what do you call those things the little thing you put in your phone with the gigabytes with the um, extra uh, gigs extra gigabytes or something on them and so I bought the little sim, not a sim card but the the other little card and I think the last one I bought I think it was 32 gigs on it and I use those up, you know, like in no time, I, I hardly at all. And so I went on YouTube, and <laughs> I'll tell you the truth, <laughs> I didn't really learn that much when I was on YouTube about the uh, storage, you know, because I have a Samsung A20. I'm trying to find out how to, you know, um, make more storage or get rid of some of this you know to, to make more internal storage is what I needed and so I really got kind of frustrated while I was doing it but like I said this guy I forgot his name I kept watching him over and over and over trying to figure out what he was doing but you know those those people over there they go real fast and you got to keep pausing rewinding trying to figure out keeping up you know trying to do it step by step on what he was doing and so this was last night that I was trying to do all this because I wanted to record something last night. As a matter of fact, I did record a very, very short one. That's all my uh, camera would let me do. They wouldn't even let me do. I don't even think the recording was a half a minute. But anyway, I posted it up there anyway. But anyhow, so today I was sitting around messing with my phone and I freed up me some some storage. I didn't free it all up though. You know, I think it up. I, I think it said fifty percent, which is enough for me to make a video for sure. Well, anyway, enough of that, y'all, because I still don't really know what I was doing. I was just playing, messing around, playing, playing, playing. And so, anyway, uh, whew, I I just get tired just thinking about it, because this technology really is not for me. But anyway, ooh, excuse me. As y'all can see, I got my teeth in, so you gotta, you know, sort of excuse me. It's not a New Year's resolution. No, it isn't. No, it's not. I really just got on here to, um, got another turtleneck here tonight, y'all. But let me show you this. Let me show you something, y'all. Ta-da! We all know what that is. I gotta heat it up, cause I had it for, I had that uh, delivered for to me this afternoon. I had the pizza delivered this afternoon, and then after I ate half of it, it's a small piece. It's not a big one. It's not a medium and nothing like that. It's a small one, small bacon pizza, and but, and I got myself a Pepsi too. Haven't had a Pepsi for a while. And let me tell you, the man that delivered it to me, he asked for like he, he he wanted me to give him a tip and then you know that the um the guy that answered the phone when I was ordering my pizza he didn't tell me what it was and I forgot to ask him because I was on the phone with my daughter at the time and so I was calling him and uh you know I didn't get a chance to ask him I said I could call him back and ask him how much it is because I the last time I ordered it was $13 or something ordering the same thing and so, when the guy comes, I went outside because he had a problem finding my, you know, finding my uh, address. And so I was looking for, he called me, and so I went outside and told him he had to come in front of the door, which he wasn't even in front of the door. He was down there a little bit, you know, down there away. And so anyway, I went out there to his car to collect the pizza and the soda. And I had a $20 bill. And so he says it's got to be the, a tip, something about a tip. I ain't never known nobody ask me for no tip or telling me anything about a tip, you know. 
And so anyway, I said, uh, no, first I asked him how much it was. And he said, uh, what did he say, $15? I said, no, I said, it's usually, I said, you know, he, he told me that he quoted me a price of $15. And I said, well, the tip is included in that. And he says, no, it's not. I said, well, how much was the order? And so I said, the order is $13 or something. And so I'm giving you, you, you got $15 there. And so then he goes and like he's looking up something to try to see what, you know, how much it was. I mean, $14 and I forgot what he said, fourteen sixty or something like that. And so I gave the guy another, another dollar. Now... He got a tip of two dollars and some change. He should have been more than happy, which I didn't have to give him that because, see, first of all, he lied to me about the price. He didn't give me the receipt. I didn't have the receipt. Only thing he did, he gave me the pizza and he gave me the soda. But I said, okay. I said, at least he brought it to me. So, you know, two dollars and fifty cents. What the heck? But why lie? You know, just because you want a, a bigger tip. Now, you know, I started to call to report him to his uh, general or his lieutenant or whatever. But I said, I'm not going to do that. I said, maybe he needed the money. And then I said to myself, after all, it's New Year's. $2.50. Somebody to bring something to you. I said to myself, you should, you should be happy. <laughs> but I didn't want to give him all my money because I had but twenty dollars. <laughs> oh well, never mind. I don't want to talk about that anymore, y'all. Look at these gloves that I bought. Let me show you these gloves. Let me see if I can stand this. I ain't gonna tear it too long here, y'all. I'm not gonna try to yak and do a whole lot of yakking tonight. But these gloves, look how full of. I can't talk. How full? <laughs> Excuse me. How fluffy they are. I mean, look, and then the the fingers are really short. I ordered these from Amazon. I think they cost like they're supposed to. You're supposed to be able to uh, do your phone, you know, with these too. See that my fingers, and they're fat. They look. I don't know how to describe these these bad boys. Well, I tell you one thing, this is not my cup of tea. These are not my cup of tea, y'all. I'm gonna have to send these back to Amazon. And check these out. I know y'all wish you had one, don't you? Now, don't you want one? Yes, you do. You want one. Everybody knows what these are. These are homemade. I made these. Was it last night? I think it was last night. No, no, no. It was the night before last because I've eaten some since then. Ah, mmm, smell good. Smell just like peanut butter. Peanut, peanut butter. I would give y'all one, but uh, unless you live close by, then you come on down here and get you one. But anyway, I'm getting ready to hang the video. I'm hang the video up oh boy i'm getting ready to end the video y'all because um uh, i gotta heat my pizza up it's almost six o'clock and i want to eat and i do have another medication i gotta take my uh one pill i gotta take my metformin for, that's my sugar pill so i gotta eat and i'm gonna hang my um hang up i keep saying hang up i'm gonna end the video y'all and i go with love I miss being up here. You know, when I was doing those um, blog, vlogs every day, the vlogmas, I used to enjoy coming up here every day just to talk about something. And so when I couldn't do it, you know, because of the stone, I became frustrated. I really did. I became frustrated, you know, because that was one of my outlets. It's something for me to do. You know, when you live by, your, uh, live by yourself, you elderly, as I am myself, I'm not really elderly, elderly, I'm like more like a senior citizen. And I had sort of become accustomed 
to having that to do. As a matter of fact, there is an outlet. It's something to do. You'd be surprised sometimes, you know, when you get to be like my age, even if you got children, grandchildren and stuff like that, nobody comes to see you. Well, I can speak for myself, especially during this pandemic. Then, it, you know, nobody comes except my grand uh, grandson and his uh, friend girlfriend came over. Uh, I think a week before Christmas or something like that. But you know, then you're you're scared to have someone coming, and they came up from North Carolina. You know, you're sort of nervous about having uh, visitors come because you don't know who they've been exposed to or. Have they been exposed to the virus? And, you know, it's especially dangerous for somebody my age, you know, to have, uh, to become exposed to it. So, this is an outlet. It's like, hey, I got somebody to talk to. Oh, yeah. So, as long as I got some storage, y'all, you'll be hearing from me. Trust me on this much. I, you know, even if I don't have any viewers. I'm still going to come up here and talk about something. You know, even if it, I want to talk, I like the sound of my voice, okay? <laughs> so, I'm trying to get used to these teeth once again. Here I go again. I'm getting ready to close the video this time, y'all. And I go with love. Have a good evening, y'all. Bye-bye.